Hey up guys, Mark here. I just want to give you a quick update on what's going on with the car because the excitement's really building now in anticipation for it to get to California. But first, I wanted to just say thanks um, because we're super humbled about the amount of views that we got on the big orange truck delivery video. 1.2 million close to, it's pretty crazy. Um, because of that, we're going to continue posting updates. We're going to do like some cars and coffees and maybe some shows and some drives and various experiences that we have with the car. Um, just because it's pretty unique and it'd be kind of cool to share that with um, people and that's part of the point of owning this car that's kind of what Ford want people to do with this car so we'll give it a shot and if you guys like it you can um, please subscribe and like the videos and hopefully you guys will get a kick out of it like we are so yeah let's see how it goes so right now the car has just had its PPF and ceramic coating done and it is really cool that that's all been taken care of. Pat Millican Ford have basically handled all the logistics of that and a big shout out to those guys and Kevin in particular for kind of coordinating all of that stuff. It's really, really cool. And the most exciting part now is that the car is actually on a truck again, the same big orange truck winging its way to California. So. We just can't wait for it to get here now and it's like being a kid at Christmas. We are having sleepless nights now just thinking about it. I can't tell you how many GT videos I've been watching on YouTube. Uh, it's just crazy, totally crazy. So in the meantime, I kind of wanted to take you guys through the configurator that the GT concierge sends to you prior to placing your order. This is kind of the start of it on my screen here and it's a little bit different to the one that you see on www.ford.com because it's more specific to the series of the car that you're ordering. So also in a later video, we'll kind of show you a little bit about the order kit and know that there are order kit videos where people have unboxed them online and stuff already, but it's just kind of cool to, to show everybody and I'll lay it out in a, in a really nice fashion so that you can really get to see it in detail. Um, so yeah, as we go through this configurator, we'll go through the choices and then we'll land on the choices that we made for our car. So, um, yeah, let's get to it. So here we go. This is the configurator for the carbon series that you can see at the top left. It's a little bit different to some of the other ones so like the custom series the accent package tab here would be for colored stripes so that you can choose the different ones for example and we've got these tabs along the side so that you can kind of step through the different options so first we'll start with a big one exterior color always a source of great debate and deliberation mainly because it's so subjective but we've got six different colors here that are included in the price so frozen white shadow black ingot silver liquid blue, liquid gray, and triple yellow. And then these don't cost you a bunch of extra money, basically. And then you get to where many GT customers end up with the extended palette. So we were trying to decide what color to go for, and we could choose between lots of different things. The, the array is infinite, and it depends on which color you pick as to how much it's gonna cost you. So for us, we were trying to decide between two Ford colors, Leadfoot and Avalanche. And they're available on other Ford vehicle lines, F-150s, the Raptor, and I think Avalanche is available on a GT500 and maybe some other Ford performance cars too. So there are a bunch of levels um, when it comes to extended palette. So ours is a level two. I don't know what they go to, but the price maxes out around 100K. Yeah, 100K. If you have a one of one color, you can even have a clause that means Ford won't paint anybody else's car the same color. So for us, the level two price was $30,000. And as the colors at this level are already mastered and they're in the Ford range, so that's why it's at the lower end. As it happens, there are quite a few Leadfoot Grey GT out there now most of them in fact all of them i know have accent stripes based on what steve our delivery specialist told us on delivery day so in the extended palette here let's go pick a hue that is close i would say that that's probably not too far off right there so we can close this window here and then let's uh, spin this thing around a little bit and get a better look at it so we can zoom out here spin it around take a good look and then something else that's really cool that we can do is we can do some cinematic. So let's do an exterior cinematic and we can get different views and we can pan around here. 
if you're the front, you kind of see the nose and the carbon ceramic brakes. It's pretty cool. The rear window on ours is actually polycarbonate with vent holes in it that comes with the carbon series. Sweep through the tunnel. Titanium exhausts, another view of the tunnel, and then the taillight with a vent through. Some carbon fiber weave. All right, so then the next up is the accent package, right? So we can take a look at these. The first option is no accent package, which is actually what we chose. And you can choose silver, red, blue, orange. You may be able to get extended palette on these two, but we didn't bother asking because we just wanted it to be no accents whatsoever. We're, we've already got a bit too much bling going on with the car in general anyway, so we didn't really want to add too much more. Next up is lowers and trim. This is really just a choice of finish. It's on standard GTs. These lowers are all just gloss black and with a carbon series, they're exposed and you get the choice of gloss or matte. So this was a pretty tough call for us because we kind of like the raw look of matte carbon. And we kind of talked to a whole bunch of people, including some of the designers of the car and got their opinions. And we settled on gloss because everything on the exterior is glossy, like the stripes that are exposed. And then on the interior, everything's matte. So it separates interior and exterior pretty well. So we would stick with gloss. I can flip between the two. You can't really see a lot of difference here in the renderings, um, but maybe you can't really see much at all. A tiny little bit, it changes. So let's go next to wheels. These are the same choices. You can do the matte wheels or you can do the gloss. So we chose gloss again to align with the rest of the car. And then for calipers, you get black as standard. Um, then you can choose silver, red, blue, or orange. And we just went for red because it's a pretty classic Brembo color and pretty much works really well with a gray. So at the end of the day, that's where we landed. We kind of think it looks really nice and just classic. So next up, we can go to the interior. So let's just jump to the interior view here. And I will rotate this as best I can because this is very counterintuitive. So you can kind of see. And there's five options, basically. The carbon series interior, which is the standard one for carbon series is at the top, is all Alcantara, the IP wing, the topper here, the seats, the steering wheel, it's all Alcantara. And it's got silver highlight stitching, which is different to the stock GTs that are non-carbon cars. And then you can upgrade to these other interiors. So you can do the dark energy, which is more leather. Then you can do re-entry, which is also leather, but with the different colored topper here and the golden, golden colored trim pieces. And the light speed, which is a blue Alcantara with a leather top here. And then launch control, which is bright orange and white trim around the screen which is crazy bright. So they're a little bit too bright for us. When we were working on the program, I kind of like the light speed interior because this blue, it looks bright here, but it's actually a little bit more muted than this in real life. So we kind of just went for the standard carbon series interior because it's just nice and black. So kind of love it. So before we go any further, I'd like to just talk about this wing here on the front of the instrument panel. It's one of the few parts on the car that isn't carbon. So it gets a full wrap of either leather or Alcantara. Some people might know already that radio waves have a lot of difficulty traveling through carbon fiber. And because practically the entire car is made from it, we had to find a creative solution for antenna placement. Inside here, there's a whole array of antenna and they have a pretty good view of the sky because of the laid back windshield. And that was why we positioned this where it was positioned and designed it so it had some harmony with the wing on the exterior of the car. So the useful little snippet over the course of some of my videos, I'll give you snippets of insider info. There's lots of fun things with this car that we did to find ways to make it happen and lots of interesting stories and they'll just come up as we're kind of going through things with the car over time. Um, we can go to a nice interior cinematic here, which is super cool. So we can like whiz through and uh, kind of have some fun views rotating around a little on the interior, a little view of the seats there. View of the center console with a standard forward Prindle with an additional ring on the knob. Close up of the steering wheel. Close up of the cluster. 
All right, let's go back to the regular interior view and let's move on to steering wheels. Not much choice here, um, just Alcantara wrap. I do believe that some people have specced this up to a leather wrap steering wheel because they think that the durability is better. I kind of like the feel of Alcantara. It's nice and grippy and it's nice with sweaty hands. Even if you wear gloves, it feels nice when you drive on a track day, for example. So yeah, we stuck with the Alcantara. All right freestanding options so now what we can do is we can look at the six point harnesses this here is something that most gt owners choose because the reason is that these are incorporated into the actual tub structure and then the tub gets closed up so it's impossible to add these after the fact it's a twenty five hundred dollar option and most people spec this in their gt for good reason a lot of people track these cars you have to have a harness on the track to really get the most out of the track day so we did the same thing we check that box so click it and then we also did the exposed carbon fiber mirror so let's go to the exterior view again and we'll check that so you can kind of see here now we have the carbon fiber mirrors I know I said I didn't want too much bling on this car, and I guess you could consider carbon fiber mirror caps bling, but because the whole car's carbon, and these are carbon underneath anyway, we wanted to expose that fact. That was a $10,000 option. The reason it costs more for the exposed carbon is because not every panel that comes out the mold is perfect enough to just clear coat. These parts are all hand laid into the molds prior to going into the autoclave and because it's hand done it's, it's not always going to be perfect. They strive and they take a long time to really push the fiber into all the little corners of the mold. It's really really difficult to do this by hand. So if a panel does come out perfect it's put aside for these different options. And then if everybody chose that option, then the scrap rate would be crazy high and that would contribute to pushing up the piece cost. Fortunately, this is mitigated somewhat by owners ordering painted pieces, which means any small voids can be repaired and a wobble in the weave pattern can just be covered up with a paint. You can imagine for an entirely exposed carbon car like the super rare liquid carbon edition, you'll have an understanding of why it's so rare and why it can get really, really expensive. We actually got a chance to hold our mirrors when we visited Multimatic to see the car being assembled. And I have to say they are a work of art. So I was pretty impressed with them. It's definitely worth checking that box. So last but not least, we have the indoor car cover as an option here. There is actually a nice outdoor cover too. So we ordered both of those options. Well, that's pretty much the rundown of the owner's GT configurator. Hopefully it was interesting and insightful. And if you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for future updates. See you next time.